There's such good people in this county. If the poor keep getting poor and the rich keep getting richer, and we can't get the medical assistance we deserve, how can we move forward? How many is with you today? You got two in here? OK, here you go. Three and four. Good morning, folks. Please raise your hand if you're here to see the dead. Valerie Crosby, Butler, Tennessee. I was born with very weak teeth, and my mother actually lost all hers at a very young age. And I hate to say it, I haven't been able to kiss my wife in over a year, you know, and that's that's pretty hard, man. Well, military Medical is an affiliation that want to help people get health care. For most folks, this may be the only chance they get. My name is Tom Dandridge. I run what's called an edger. It's the machine that actually takes the lens and cuts it to the shape of a, a frame for glasses. In the very first clinic, we didn't have any of this type of equipment. So we got the truck, and it had machines that they use for rebuilding cars. We got together trying to decide what needed to go in there, and finally got it where we can actually do about 280 glasses a day. I need a lot of work done. And it's just too expensive to go to a dentist. I wanted to eventually have them all out dentures, like my mom did. If I can't do the dentures right now, I at least want the, the ones that are broke off out. I just got a job after a year and a half. Way too So it took me a year and a half, but I finally got another job. But I can't live with I understand that. No two steps. Deep breath, blow it out. Rhonda, are you a smoking person? Yeah. Yeah? Not good. Have you been told in the past that you had spots on your x ray? I ain't never had x ray. Never had an x ray? Need them all. Just out of the blue, people figure out this is where their glasses come from. They'll knock on the truck and say, thanks, I can see. I haven't been able to see for years. I'm 14 years old, and until today, I didn't know what a leaf looked like. Um, then that gets you. It gets you hard. We have people in this country suffering because they can't get a, a tooth filled, or they can't go to work because they can't see. You see the need of the people, and that hurts. With anything that hurts, you got to put a Band-Aid on it to start the healing process. So I try to remember that we are making a difference for folks in their lives. Mm -hmm.